something like that. Not there, these are there. And you burn it like that. It will burn up. I don't know if you knew that. You just give it something to burn with. Up. Yeah. And we'd be surprised because those that should last as you think. What I have there, I'll put them in for the chicken tomorrow. And if, if that's not enough, or if, if we run out, I'll burn them. You get more. Um, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm down with um, Matthew, who you all know. Say hello, Matthew. How's that? <laughs> and Anderson here is a new friend of ours, a new camping buddy. And um, just to let um, uh, um, Anderson's wife know, Kira. Oh, actually, you won't be watching this, so he'd be home safe anyway. But he's in good company here with us, and we're going to look after him. We know he's to go back and uh, do some uh, the fades with Oscar and everything. So um, that's Anderson and Matthew. And myself, we, we got here and the plan was to do a roast chicken in this. I bought one of these. It's a Dutch oven and it's seven kilos. And um, But we wouldn't have enough time to to film it. So I got so I put her off till in the morning. And um, I, I was thinking of a name for the Dutch oven. I was going to call it the Duchess. I just think it's okay, you know. But then my daughter says, no, dad, call it Derek. Derek the Dutch oven. So what do you think, Derek or the Duchess? I'm gonna cook a chicken in it tomorrow. So um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, touch in with just touch in base and you see me just chopping wood and you got the fire here. That fire thing there that I have, I'll show it to you as more tomorrow, but they're the end of um of um fire pits. And I know they annoy some people, they don't bother me at all because every time I see a fire pit I see a bunch of happy people sitting around it and experiencing the outdoors so fire pits don't bother me but I think that, that little bit of kit because um, all, all there'll be left on the ground underneath that is dust really literally um, and pick up with your hands throw it in the air of course if it's out and just kick on the ground then you wouldn't even know there was a fire there so I think they're going to be very popular so look um, gonna have a beer and uh, chat with the lads me and Matthew is going to burn the eardrums off Anderson <laughs> he's going to hear all our camping stories but we try we, we let him speak as well <laughs> okay so back soon ciao Hi guys, come on. Sun is out. We're doing a bit of brekkie here on the lid. First time cooking on the dust oven lid. It's all good, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. And uh, I'm getting the things ready for uh, uh, Derek the Dutch oven. It's going to do as the chicken and roast potato and roast veg. And I have a uh, Use fat for them as well. So we know a chicken will take an hour and a half at home, so I'm probably going to have to give myself a little time for cooling down and uh, getting the heat, keeping the heat at a constant 250 maybe. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to probably have to be sitting by this when the chicken's on and splitting wood all the time and making sure the fire is it kept going and kept the heat up and the temperature is right. So yeah, um, yeah, there was no point in lighting the fire doing a breakfast and then letting that go out and then lighting another fire to cook the chicken so we'll have the chicken on then um, and all the work will be done for us then so yeah i leave this the best shot with it this is impossible excellent back soon
got a chunk of time. Yeah. Was dead. Over the I'm delighted we were recording that. That's going to look great on camera. Mm -hmm. That's going to look great in my belly. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, so hi everybody. Uh, everything's cooled down. Cooked this masterpiece. She's a bit bored. And I made an absolute hands of the uh, roast potatoes. The thing ended up on fire and all. I was raging I didn't get it um, recorded. But look, that's it. this is it. It's a trial and error. It's, it's my first time with um, the Duchess. No, no, sorry. My daughter thinks Derek. Derek, the Dutch oven. Which I like as well. And um, it's my first cook off of it. So I'm 80% happy, maybe. You know? So I've got the veg here. Wait, we just carved this chicken. Nice slice out of this. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Edge here. Actually, I meant to do this first. Can't find the lid off this thing. Look at that big plate of veg. And let's not forget. Dolphin. Oh. oh god, that looks delicious. Now, I didn't think I'd forget the bisto. What sort of savage do you think I am? And that's for that there. And now it's short. Okay, so it doesn't have the potatoes, which is a bit of a letdown. Maybe an Irish you now, um, but it's going to do. So uh, bon appetit! I'll show you a picture of it closer. Oh no, actually, I'll taste it. I'll taste it. I'll taste it. Bit of chicken. Cauliflower. Okay, go on. Got this piece. Mm -hmm. Hi, good morning. Uh, it's 8am, <coughs> so I had a little bit of a lie-in. Got 
quick get the fire going. And a cup of tea, fourth one in the morning. And uh, it is actually a bit cold. So I've stuck on my gloves. Yeah. Uh, like the sun is usually up there by now, so I don't know what's keeping it. it must be in, be in behind clouds. But uh, hopefully it comes out. I think Stephen is probably on his way already because he drops his partner to work at half seven, so he's going to get here at about like half eight, so another half hour. <coughs> I don't think he'd be in a hurry, so I don't have to get my skates on and start packing up. <coughs> I have time for air. Uh, yeah, I have time for a cup of tea and a wake and bake. Beautiful. To enjoy all of this. Yeah. I really like that spot there. There's no uh, chance of widow makers. Um, down there where I do camp, there is a possibility. I might actually even ask, I think the loggers are out there. I might ask them to come in and say, look, can you take that tree down? It's going to kill somebody down here, probably. I hope it doesn't. Fingers crossed. Yeah, anyways, look, back soon, I'm going to get me a cup of tea. Yeah, back soon, bye. Yeah, hi everybody. So uh, I'm nearly packed up now. Um, can't find me John Lens. Don't know where they are. They're somewhere around. Well, it's the, they're in a case anyway. So I think the case is at the. Uh, I missed uh, at the bottom of uh, in Bergen. I'm nearly all packed up there. Let's get some pieces here. See, I wasn't sure what time Stephen, the sergeant, was coming down to pick me up. And um, so I knew. If he wasn't here at nine, then it would be about half one when he gets here, one o'clock. So, uh, so I got packed up just in case. It is half nine now. That's exactly what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, now I, now I know he'll be down in a few hours. Um, so I'm just gonna chill out. Do you know I might I might actually give us a look at those um, feed of pro trousers. Do you want to look at the feed of the Fial Raven feed of pro trousers? Will I, wait? Will I compare them with the Helican Tex while I'm here? And uh, all packed up, ready to go.